Welcome to another Chaotic Classroom Clip. This clip is aimed at Grade 12 Life Science learners making use of the CAPS syllabus. The topic of this clip is the mechanisms of reproductive isolation. Now remember, reproductive isolation prevents members of two different species from producing offspring. So the idea is not to have two different species mix. Now the first way that this can be prevented is they prevent fertilization from taking place at all. An example here could be something like a really small dog and a really big dog. They cannot even mate, so they will not produce any offspring. Our second one is species-specific courtship behavior. Most of the examples that you'll find here has to do with birds. Certain birds have a very specific dance that they do to attract a member of the opposite sex. So swans, for example, will be doing a dance, but that dance will not be recognized by some, like, something like a peacock. Then our third, third one is breeding at different times of the year. Now this one's sometimes also called temporal isolation, because remember it has to do with time. And an example here would be something like a wood frog and a leopard frog. Now, as you can see on the graph, they're not fertile at the same time of the year, which means they cannot breed. The fourth one is that they sometimes make use of different pollinators. Now, remember, this is the plant one. So you will have birds and bees and butterflies and bats, and they're all different types of pollinators. But uh, certain plants will only be pollinated by birds and certain plants will only be pollinated by bees. So that prevents them from being pollinated by different, by another species. Then our fifth one is infertile offspring, is something like a horse that is crossed by a donkey and they do have offspring, but their offspring is called a mule. So, and the offspring is infertile. Why? Because the chromosomes simply do not match. So that's now the case of there was offspring, but the offspring are not fertile. So a mule cannot be a new species. And that's it for the day. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom.